All right, classic teenage date night movie time. So, like, a bunch of teens, like, they all, you know, take their sports cars and girlfriends to whatever spot where they all bang, you know? So then all their semen collects up, and it turns into, like, <laughs> an evil, like, like, dirt baby raised by wolves. And then it, like, comes for them to get revenge. <laughs> but it's a horror movie. And, like, it's got, like, coyote wolves that, like, are its army. And they've got to defeat them. It's a good movie, trust me, guys. <laughs> what do you have to say about that? Um... Sounds like a really trashy 80s horror film slash one of those films that is just they're supposed to be for edgy teenagers to watch. I mean, teenage girls are edgy. Well, that's why what we need. Uh -oh. That's why what we need, I'm saying, is movies to be on like those stupid channels on rabbit ears like Comet and stuff. Yeah. We need more movies like that. So I'm just suggesting this one real quick. Yes, Comet it makes a billion dollar deal to start <clears throat> making... Yeah. Trashy teenage date night movies. Pretty much. We need each station to have their own movies. So that, dude, Comet's played the grossest yeah. trash. It's like saying that you're willing to go outside the realm of the solar system into the deep space of, of stupidity and evil. Um, but, like, my point is, right, then they, like, have a standoff because, like, you know, they're, like, out on their motorcycles or something stupid and there's like an old abandoned like you know double wide and they have to take their like you know guns that they had for like uh hunting ground squirrels and stuff and like you know hole up in there as like the coyotes get ready to attack you know and they gotta shoot them all and then they burst in and or mauling some of them, green you know, on their so arms and much, legs. This is so much like a 70s cable <laughs> movie, like, that you'd watch late at night and be like, God, I'm going to puke up all my popcorn. Like, me, I'd be like, you know what? Me, yeah. which is, I'm probably selling this accidentally, but, like, I'd just be like, oh, God, 75% of the way through the movie, I'm just like, I can't take it anymore, and I just turn it off, you know what I mean? But that means yeah. that this is sure to sell to every trashy kid that never grew up because you're laughing so hard about it. To see the evil coyotes lick up the semen and then the dirt baby's connected to them. And do they don't know whether it's really a coyote or a man. But then it like has like at the end like a final boss mode, you know, it has like dirt nap abilities, you know, where it like turns into like an actual dirt fiend as it reveals it's actually a monster the whole time that was just fucking with them. And it's just taking over things. Like, it's like the the uh, the thing or something, you know? Yes, but I repeat. The number one thing that this doesn't mean that some movies have is any, because it ruins all of those movies in the past, religious significance. Don't do that. Do not do uh, the that. The thing doesn't have religion. I wasn't talking about that. I was I'm saying just what saying, the thing did right. I'm just applying it, the thing rules to it where there's no religion That's what in I was it. saying. I was Because you were bringing yeah. up the thing. What did the thing do right? No religious significance. Just the panic of somebody who might be supposedly religious comedically. Although most people don't think the thing's very comedic. But I found various scenes to be rather funny. I did too. Not the actual evil monster. That was pretty gross. Yeah, that was kind of gross. But but the point here Wilfred is... Wilfred Brimley was This funny. movie's less gross than the thing because ultimately there's supposed mauling and, you know, torn legs and stuff. But ultimately, the plot here is they defend their, you know, whatever women are with them and the women are tough too. And, um... Like... The final boss, like I was saying, like, it, like, is, like, you know, made out of, like, all of the, like, bugs. Because that's, like, take over living creatures, right? Like, kind of like the thing. So, it, like, takes over all the bugs and the dirt and turns into a super, like, bug monster that's, like, you know, 
comes up through the you know floorboards of the old double wide because you know double wides are you know right now there's full of insects under there. God <laughs> damn it! You're such a fucking bastard. And then, You're such a bastard. And then they're like smacking it with two by fours and shit and burning it with an impromptu flamethrower, you know, out of their acetylene torch. And then they run for it as the propane canister blows and all the bugs are disintegrated. You cross the whole desert landscape that rose up against them in the trailer. That's good entertainment, right? There. <laughs> I probably wouldn't finish this movie. <laughs> no! It's, it's, I'm mixing eight-legged freaks type feeling in there. You yeah, know? I, I know. love that movie. I, and I, I love the, the, the video be, game for that movie. You've seen it. You've seen the footage of me playing that game. The old footage. It's so good. Listen, I just, I only watched eight-legged freaks once, so I'd probably watch this movie once <laughs> and be like, yeah, not so much after it's that. It's a lot less disturbing than Evolution. I hate that movie. Well, if we're going to bring up Evolution, this is going to be a conversation. Yeah. Long, long, long. Well, to be real quick, Evolution, um, it's obviously that main guy's movie who was the fireman in the movie, and they added in a ton of shit. It's his movie, and they went all over the place and made it annoying and boring and gross. He had limits, and they went beyond them. Yeah, so there's the movie. I don't know what else to say. I think I've, I've summed it all up. So, like, the killer line for the movie is the main action hero dude of the group says, let's send this semen demon back to hell, you know, and then he shoots to their final firework as they've, you know, smashed out the back door of the trailer and then he shoots it in where they have all the gasoline ready to go and explode the propane things in there, bigger canisters, and then it all explodes, like I said before. And they have, you know, whoever show up in the morning to pick them up because they never show up. They used up all their gas, destroying the semen demon. Yeah, it's good stuff. But, uh, yeah, I didn't mention you gotta have it, like, you know, before it goes final mode evil with all of the, you know, desert bugs. First, you know, after they take down all its goons, you know, the stupid dog wolf things. Then, uh, it comes in, you know, like it's like a evil skinwalker, you know, werewolf human thing, you know, and it's all like making noises like it's like a child, you know, all creepy, you know, like in the skinwalker legends, and then, uh, you know, you gotta have the cliche where the one girl's like, oh no, there's something out there, and then she runs out there, and then, you know, it attacks her, and like, uh, to save her, you know, there's, they all run out and attack it, and then it's, like, slashing at all of them, but they got, like, their motorcycle rider gear on, so then it's, like, just, like, a fight where they're just beating the shit out of it, and it's, like, slashing at them, they got their motorcycle helmets on, and then... They got, like, some knives, and they start slicing it all up and everything, and they wound it, you know, and it crawls under the house, and then they think they're safe, but then there's the final mode, you know. I got some information for you, Grant. I guess that's it. What?